Now in verses 9 and 11, let me read now the remainder of this chapter. And when those living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Now, this is the first great worship scene that we have here in heaven. And we find that it's a constant thing. When here that opens this section, and when it should be, and whensoever. And that indicates that this is a continual act of worship. In other words, praise and adoration is the eternal activity of God's creatures in heaven. The creature worships the Creator as the triune God. Holy, holy, holy. And worship is the activity of heaven. Now, may I say this? I have a sermon that I used to preach quite a bit years ago. I haven't preached it in years. And the title of the sermon is, Why Do You Want to Go to Heaven? You hear a great many people say, not everybody talking about heaven is going to heaven. Well, there's a better question than that that is suggested by that song. And that is, why do you want to go to heaven? What's the idea? To miss hell? Well, I don't think that's an unworthy motive myself. But may I say to you, if you go to heaven, you're going to find yourself either getting down on your face or up off of it, worshiping the triune God and especially the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, if you find worship boring down here, and you're not interested in worshiping the Lord Jesus and expressing your heart's desire to Him, then why in the world do you want to go to heaven, friends? Because they're going to spend a lot of time up there worshiping Him. Now, we are told here that the crowns of the church here are laid at Jesus' feet as an act of submission and worship. I think, very frankly, that we're going to get embarrassed wearing a crown around. (laughs) So many people talk about there's going to be a crown for them over there. Well, I think that, frankly, that after we wear it around a little and the new wears off, we're going to get embarrassed because what in the world are we doing wearing a crown? The only one worthy up there is the Lord Jesus. So we're going to put it at his feet. That is, if we get a crown to begin with. Now, you notice it's, O Lord, thou hast created all things. Now, did you notice here, and Dr. Walford, in his very excellent book on Revelation, calls attention to this, and I want to call attention to it. I think it's important. If you'll notice that the living creatures here, they give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne. They worship him for his attributes, because he is who he is. But the four and twenty elders represent the church. And they worship him not just because of his attributes, but because of what he's done. And here they worship him as creator, but they worship him because thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Now, in other words, the church comes out of this little earth. And this is God's creation. And they join in the worship because he created this earth down here. And Genesis 1.1 is accurate, and then the church believes it. And where it says here, it's created for thy pleasure, it actually should be because of thy will. This is very important to see that the reason that God created this earth and things are as they are, because it was in his plan and purpose. Now, I don't understand a great deal that he's doing. I don't understand a great deal about this universe that I live in. But I do know this, that it's created this way because 
That's the way he wanted it. He's in charge, and we're to worship him because he created this little earth. I'm glad he did. I'm glad he created me. He could have forgot all about me, and I'm glad he didn't. I'm glad I was in the plan and purpose of God. I'm glad he created. And so we worship him 